Hi, I'm John Budd. I'm a faculty member at the University of Minnesota in the Carlson School of Management. I made this video to give you a little introduction to myself and my background. Outside of work, I have a variety of interests. I like to listen to music. I like to watch sports, especially hockey and football, all kinds of football, American, European, even Aussie rules, although I don't get to do that very often. And I like to cook. I like to test out new recipes, try different ingredients, and learn about techniques and tastes from cultures all around the world. Ah, uh, beautiful Colgate University. This is where I did my undergraduate degree, majoring in math and also in economics. I then went to Princeton University, where I received my PhD in economics. I wrote my dissertation on pattern bargaining by the United Auto Workers Union. I then moved to Minneapolis to become an assistant professor at the University of Minnesota. Okay, yeah, sometimes it looks like this here in cold Minnesota. But contrary to popular beliefs, it's not cold year-round, and we have beautiful spring, summer, and fall. I have now been at the University of Minnesota in the Carlson School of Management for 25 years. My office is right over here. I wear a few different hats in the Carlson School. I'm a full professor, where I hold the Industrial Relations Land Grant Chair. I am the director of the Center for Human Resources and Labor Studies. I'm also chair of the Department of Work and Organizations. In these last two roles, I have managerial responsibilities. So even though I've been a professor for 25 years, I have this practical managerial experience, which is particularly relevant when I'm teaching and researching on issues related to work and human resources. Even though I have a PhD in economics and I'm a professor in a business school, I consider myself to be an industrial relations scholar. But what the heck does that mean? To understand my industrial relations perspective, here's a quick history lesson. Go back a couple of centuries to the Industrial Revolution and the beginnings of industrial capitalism. Different schools of thought emerged in terms of how to think about industrial capitalism and the new employment relationship which was emerging out of the Industrial Revolution. Classical economists like Adam Smith here on the right, as well as others, saw industrial capitalism as a way to create tremendous wealth and benefits for society by trading raw materials, goods and services, as well as labor in competitive markets. In sharp contrast, radical approaches captured here by Karl Marx on the left see industrial capitalism as highly unequal and set up to favor capital over labor, and the modern employment relationship is a highly unequal relationship in which workers are exploited. So industrial relations emerges as a middle way that emphasizes human and social goals and the contingencies of institutions, not just markets and pure economic outcomes, but unlike the radical approach, does not reject capitalism. Rather, it seeks to improve employment relations within a capitalist system by embracing multidisciplinary understandings and institutional solutions to economic problems. In the traditions of industrial relations scholarship, which analyzes work and work-related institutions using various disciplinary perspectives and methodologies, I've published a number of journal articles looking at different aspects of labor unions, wages, strikes, as well as public policies on work, such as unemployment insurance. In a separate vein, I've published a variety of conceptual pieces looking at the nature of the employment relationship, work, and public policies on work. This includes four books. My first book was called Employment with a Human Face, Balancing Efficiency, Equity, and Voice, published by Cornell University Press. My second book, published with a law professor, Steve Befford, was called Invisible Hands, Invisible Objectives, Bringing Workplace Law and Public Policy into Focus, published by Stanford University Press. My third book was called The Thought of Work, published by Cornell University Press. And my fourth book is a major comprehensive labor relations textbook called Labor Relations Striking a Balance, now in its fourth edition with McGraw-Hill. And one thing that's been really neat about publishing these books is the global interest that they have received, including a number of translations into different languages. And so my books have been published in Chinese, Spanish, and even Arabic, with some additional Chinese and Korean editions in process. As a professor, I of course also teach. 
I've taught at the undergraduate, master's, and PhD levels. Most of my teaching is concentrated in our excellent Master of Arts program in Human Resources and Industrial Relations, HRIR, that prepares students for careers in human resources. Within that program, I teach labor relations, personnel economics, and sometimes business statistics. I'm very proud of my teaching. I try to innovate, and I've won numerous teaching awards from the HRIR students. I also spent nine years directing that program. I also have a blog that I try to contribute to once a month. If you're interested, you can check it out here. Lastly, I've been lucky to be able to travel to lots of conferences around the world, and I enjoy taking pictures during my trips. Here are a few of my favorites. Well, that's a little bit about me. I hope you found this useful and that you enjoy this course. Mmm, tasty!